Hey guys, Larry the Tractor Guy this morning. Hey, we're at the shop this morning and I wanna look at an engine that we've got torn apart and talk about rod and main bearings on a crankshaft real quick and show you what that looks like. Okay, so here we are guys in the shop this morning. We got this 9300 with the engine pulled out. As you can see, we've got the block here on the engine stand. This is a 12.5 liter uh, engine and we're just doing a basic rebuild on this engine um, we had some problems with uh, with oil consumption and so we're going to going to do a complete rebuild on this engine but something pretty cool that i want you to see real quick this is a high hour tractor so it's got about 10,000 hours on this engine and when we pulled this crankshaft out and took a look at these bearings i want to show you what a bearing wear looks like on main bearings okay and rod bearings and so this is one of the main bearings here and as you can see that is really really worn down to the third stage material that's in this bearing these bearings are made up of several different metals okay with the outer surface i'll show you another bearing here that's not worn as bad so the outer surface of this bearing is a softer material and that way if you get um you know, any kind of uh, debris in there or any kind of dirt or anything like that in your engine oil, it will actually embed itself into this bearing and not scratch the crankshaft, okay? Okay, and as you can see on this bearing, <clears throat> that material is pretty well gone and we have worn that way, way beyond where it needs to be, okay? And you can even see a pretty good little scratch right there in that bearing surface, okay? And so when you talk about service on an engine um, I feel like it's a pretty good ideal from a tech's perspective to start thinking about uh, installing rod and main bearings in your engine about 5,000 hours I think is a good service interval for that um, this is what we see a lot of times even on rod bearings <clears throat> when we go way beyond that 5,000 hour service interval okay and uh, also i'll show you what happens here if you go beyond that and get worn down to this so we've got this crankshaft out here and as you can see if you're looking at this main journal here that that bearing was running on you can see those scratches in that crankshaft okay uh, crankshaft is definitely not runt or worn by any means so we're going to send it off and get it polished uh, before we rebuild this engine but I do think that it's a pretty good idea to do that regular, normal underhaul. We call that an underhaul, okay? So that's basically just putting these rod and main bearings in your engine, okay? And I think that's a pretty good idea at 5,000 hours. Like I said, this engine has about 10,000 hours on it. And I'm pretty sure that he's probably not been using a good quality of engine oil, uh, which a good quality oil would be the Torque Guard Plus 50. Uh, that we currently use in our deer engines. Um, it does have some high, uh, high hour uh, wear additives in that engine oil that do a really good job. And so keep that in mind if you're thinking about on the fence a little bit about a underhaul on your engine and putting rod and main bearings in, uh, that we see a lot of wear after that 5,000 hour mark, especially in a severe duty application where these four wheel drive tractors are pulling a lot of loads out in the field and and working really hard in higher temperatures. Um, just keep that in mind. We feel like that's a good service interval. Uh, tech tip of the day, Larry the Tractor Guy signing out. Hey guys, check out Larry the Tractor Guy videos here, other videos here, subscribe here, and buy all your John Deere parts here. We'll make it work. I think we're gonna have right. to make it. We'll make it work. Come on, let's go. <laughs> we need to make you some need some bloopers. Y'all already, already burning me out. Some bloopers. He's sitting in the sun over here, man.